Hey, it's Hagi here with another epic video and today I will be showing you how I lesson. From another epic video asking how I lesson plan and I know I'm late, I'm sorry, but I'm finally getting to it. So my kids will be entering shortly so if you hear loudness, it'll be them. If you hear any other noises in the background, it's coming from either outside or in the cafeteria as they're preparing for lunch. Getting into it, I will try to explain this as simply as I can because I promise you, you're overthinking everything. And I know what you're saying. It's easy for you to say, yes, it is now because I was in the same boat as you. I was overthinking it a lot, but I promise you, it's not as hard as you're making it. This video will primarily focus on elementary, which is a 40 minute class period. This video should help you if you are working with a co-teacher, if you're working with the homeroom teacher, or if it's just you by yourself, like me, in a classroom. I also don't have any experience when it comes to lesson planning for elementary or high school, but I'm pretty sure it's more or less the same with lesson planning, but instead of 40 minutes, it's just 45 minutes. A quick disclaimer, you do not have to lesson plan the way I lesson plan. It's subjective. You can do it how you do it once you get comfortable. If you do it my way just to start off and once you get your footing, you change it up, that's perfectly okay. This video is just to show you how I lesson plan and for you to see what you can take from it. So first thing first, I make a plan. Um, I plan out what I would do for the 40 minutes of class time. Just like the lesson plan you did on your Epic application where you plan everything out, it's more or less the same. So first is introduction. For me, I usually try to keep the introduction to five to 10 minutes. Sometimes if we're having a little fun, we do go over just a bit of time, but I try to keep it from five to 15, from five to 10 minutes. So with the introduction, I'm usually introducing the new vocabulary and key expressions or once we have moved on, we are reviewing the vocabulary and key expressions. To keep it interesting and to keep my students engaged, I try to make a cute little PowerPoint presentation where they're engaging with it. So sometimes the words will disappear or I'll have pictures and I have to guess or we'll practice using the Korean version and the English version of that word. Next is textbook. So I try to keep the textbook time to 10 to 15 minutes. So usually the students are using a physical textbook and, you, and usually the teacher's version is online or on a CD. So online, there are videos for listening and repeating. There are stories, role play, songs, and mini games for the students to do. Depending on what you want, it's fairly quick and simple. Uh, for example, fourth and fifth grade usually have a role playing time in their textbook. And usually this can take up the whole class period as you divide 20 minutes for the students to get into groups, practice their scripts and get assigned characters. And you can use the last 20 minutes for each group to present the role playing. Honestly, it's my favorite part of the textbook and I usually bring props and whatnot for the students to get fully into it. And trust me, some students get into it. Um, next is an activity. An activity is optional if you have more time. That's simply it. if you have more time you can do an activity and sometimes the activities can go a little bit longer so you don't have time for a game but it depends on what you want to do for your class. So for an activity if I have time is usually about 10 minutes or so. I try not to make it go any longer because I know the students want a game. So for example, usually when you start the textbook, there's not much material even within the textbook. So we usually try to do introduction, um, the little bit of the textbook that is there and an activity and a game just to see what they know and to get them used to speaking and using the vocabulary and key expressions that they will continue to use on out during that lesson. Last but not least is game. As an epic teacher, you're more or less will be asked to prepare a game. Rather, it's the game where the teacher teaches for 20 minutes and you do a game for 20 minutes. That's what I've been doing since I got here. And then some, for instance, you have your own class and you can have the game to go as much as you want. The game has to be based on the material from the textbook. So there is that. As I mentioned before, you do not have to do it this way. This is how I do it. 
Um, let's say you're in charge of your own classroom. You can do 20 minutes of game, 20 minutes of textbook. Boom, bam, you're done for the day. That's the end of class. Now that there's a foundation, you need to have the materials. Oh, I see one of my third graders coming right now. Do we have two third graders this time or just one? It looked like it's just the one baby. Here he comes. Now that there's a foundation, you need the materials. So I present to you the Holy Trinity. You have Courtshare, you have Wegook, and you have In This School. Literally, you can Google any of these and make an account. Once you make an account, you find the grade and the textbook your school is using. You click on the unit and the class is on. Boom, now you have materials from introduction, vocabulary, games, and some activities. Even with the different textbooks, some units are similar and it's easy to make a PPT and switch things up for your class's needs. So I do this for all my classes. For Monday, I have fifth and sixth grade, and for Wednesday, I have third through sixth grade. Luckily for Monday, I just teach the same lesson like three times in a row for fifth grade, and then for sixth grade, I do the exact same thing. And that's honestly the most easiest thing. And for instance, if one class isn't really filling the game or the activity, you have a 10 minute break in between to change things up to your liking. The only part is, <laughs> if the students are not interested, you do have to wing it. Now I know what you're saying. Huggy, how can I wing it? I don't know what to do. Like, come on now, help me out. I bribe. Like they say, don't bribe the kids with candy. I bribe them with candy, okay? like. What else am I supposed to do? I just fling a bag of candy and be like, hey, participate. Or better yet, I make them compete. Their Korean kids are very competitive. I will make them compete with each other to get the ball rolling. Am I a bad person for that? Maybe. Who cares? I'm teaching my class. You're not teaching my class. But I promise you once you get in there, you'll find your footing on how to get your students interested once you start getting to know them. I hope this video helped those wanting to know how to lesson plan. If I miss anything or you want to know more, please leave a comment down below. I do read them. Share this video to help others. Give it a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.